Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day, and I'm excited because now we're on the, the countdown to our in-person services on-site at Sweetwater Campus this coming weekend, September 5th and 6th. And again, if you're uh, in town and you want to join us, be glad to have you join with us in worshiping on-site, in person, uh, the person of Jesus. If you're joining us online, uh, we're delighted to have you as well, and we're trying to upgrade our online experience uh, to go along with that. Hey, today we're continuing in the, the Gospel of Mark, and I'm looking at a passage in chapter 1 that is so significant in how we see authority in our lives. Listen to this. It says, at, at beginning of verse 21, And they, that's Jesus and the disciples, went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and was teaching. And the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked the evil spirit, saying, Be silent and come out of this man. And the unclean spirit convulsed him, and crying out with a loud voice came out of him. And again, the crowds were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, Who is this? He has a new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once, his fame spread everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. Authority. You know... Religion lacks authority. Religion lacks authority. Uh, religion is usually run by small-minded people who are, who are trying to control others' lives, and they love to make rules that they themselves don't follow. Sound familiar? That, that was the religion of Jesus' day. That's why he uh, consistently attacked them for being hypocrites, for saying one thing and doing another, for making rules that no one could follow, uh, and they didn't even try to keep them themselves. And so when the people heard Jesus teach, they said, he has one, he's teaching as one who has authority. They were impressed because he opened his mouth and they heard him and they went, this is different, this is new, this is amazing. Captured their attention. Uh, Jesus has all authority in heaven and on earth, by the way. But he got their attention for two reasons. Number one, because he taught truth. He taught truth with authority. And then they were impressed with his power over the evil spirits. Those are the two things that got their attention. So what about us? If you're a follower of Jesus, where do you try to derive your authority from? Um, if, if you want to live a life of authority, then it comes from the same things. You've got to know the truth. By the way, uh, that's why we encourage you to read the Bible. We believe the Bible is the inspired and errant word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. If you want to follow Jesus, you've got to know the truth. Jesus actually said, if you hold on to my teachings or abide in my teachings, you are truly my disciples and, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. See, the truth will only set you free if you actually know it and live it. And, and if we're going to live as people with authority, then we've got to know the truth of God which means we've got to study the Bible, memorize the Bible, learn the Bible, because it is our source of authority. And then the power. The power of God is in you. The Holy Spirit of God, if, if you're a follower of Jesus, He moved into your life the moment you confess Jesus as Lord. And He's there to empower you. That's why the Apostle John said, greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. Because the Holy Spirit of God is in you. Therefore, you have power over evil spirits. You have power over temptation. You have power over fear. Because the Holy Spirit is going to empower you to speak for Jesus and to live for Jesus. Now, uh, that power is accessed when we submit to the Holy Spirit in our lives. And submission means, in essence, that you decide to obey the truth of Jesus in your life personally. If you're a Christian and you're feeling powerless, it probably has to do with those two things. A knowledge of the truth and submitting to God at the points that you know. Now, uh, on this subject of authority, I, I just want to weigh in on one more thing, because uh, some of you are sitting there going, yeah, it's easy for you. You're the lead pastor at Calvary to talk about authority, and you went to school for all these years and all this kind of stuff. Can I just tell you that um, whatever authority that I have does not come 
from my ordination. Just because some men laid hands on me and prayed for me and said, you're, you're called to ministry, is not what gives me my authority. It, my authority does not come from 10 years of higher education focused on studying the Bible and church history and church theology and all that kind of stuff. Yes, I have a bachelor's and a master's and a doctorate in ministry. That's not what gives me my authority. My authority does not come from having the title of pastor of Calvary. Now, I will tell you straight up, whatever authority I have in my life comes because I've studied the Word of God and I know the Word of God and it has changed my life because I have surrendered to the Word of God and to the Holy Spirit in my life. That's it. That is it. Uh, look, I know people who have the titles, I know people who have the degrees, I know people who have the ordinations who lack authority. But if you really want to experience God's power in your life, surrender to the Holy Spirit, study your Bible, and watch the changes that will come in your life as you live out the authority of Jesus. Because he showed us what it looks like. He demonstrated it. And we're entirely capable of it. Um, and can I just tell you that if we all do that, we'll see this world, we'll see this community changed with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So today I'm praying that you will embrace the authority given to you by the power of the Holy Spirit and God's word. God bless. Have a great, great day.